Good morning, everyone, beautiful young people. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to the acronym MSOOM, the class Making Something Out of Nothing. It's all about upcycling found objects, things that you would normally throw away, but you could possibly reuse to make a beautiful project. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the end of our last project, which was uh, a magazine paper tube vessel. We're calling it a vessel due to the fact that you're able to go ahead and uh, name it whatever you like. So the first thing we're gonna do, today we're gonna be working on the design aesthetic. Um, hopefully you all can use your own uh, ideas and creativity to make your own designs. And I'm just gonna give you uh, share my technique and tips of what I'm going to do to my beautiful piece. So while I am working, if there's anyone out there that would like to uh, unmute yourselves or anything, feel free. Uh, yesterday, one of the participants asked me about a supply or medium that was used in Brother Jamal's class. And right now, I just want to type to everyone what we're making. Magazine, paper, to vessel. And this message is to Mr. Ronnie, if you want to check the chat. Um, so I typed in the chat uh, a particular a medium that you can thinly brush on your paintings after it's done. Um, for Mr. Clark, just be mindful that you want to brush a thin coat of the high gloss medium on your painting and then let it dry completely. If you continue to brush over and over, it's since it is the same uh, basic uh, thing as it pertains to having the medium in the acrylic paint, you're going to make the paint start to blur and uh, run. So you want to just put a thin coat over it, let it dry. And if you see any spots um, that had not been covered, then you can go over those. All right. So I have my apron on. First thing I need to do to make sure to have my piece done is to plug up my hot glue gun. And you know, I always have a piece of wood something to catch my hot glue as it drips so as to be safe and careful and not to to prevent any uh, burns and also to protect my table from getting uh, messy. So I'm plugging up the glue gun and I'm going to bring the camera closer just so you can see what I am using today. Once again, take risk and be creative. You can use anything you like. Um, I know you've all seen these glass stones or beads before. I have like clear, red, I have some green ones. I also have some with like a light blue striation through them. Yellow, uh, medium blue, maybe like a coral, coral colored, green, and turquoise. So as you can see, 
I've pulled out pretty much everything that I have due to the fact that once you start collecting a lot of supplies, like I have this whole bucket here full of stones, so I'm going to use as much as I can, but not to overdo it. I also got some uh, decorative rhinestones. However, these rhinestones are kind of on the large side, so I don't think I'm going to be using these today. I don't want to go larger than the size of my stones here. And you can see I have another container. But I just took these out to see how I thought they were going to look. They look too large. And then I have, I always have to close this thing up to be careful. One thing you would really hate is to have this be this rhinestone case and drop it. So I always make sure to close it to be safe. So I have these uh, rhinestones that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I think they're going to do the trick as far as the look that I'm looking for. And so carefully, this is how they look. All right. So while my glue gun is getting hot, glue gun is getting hot, hotter, I'm going to be showing you that to make sure my uh, pieces are really uh, reinforced and, and staying on my vessel, I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue. I'm going to use E6000 because I want the this to be able to this glue to be able to adhere to these stones permanently but I'm going to use the hot glue so that it will just stick right now, you know, in an instant. So it's like I'm going to be using E6000 and hot glue at the same time. If I were not using hot glue, I would just use this E6000 and probably tape, tape the stones on there because if not, they'll be sliding until it gets dry. So also in case I need to apply my uh, E6000 a certain kind of way I have a toothpick. Like if I, if it's, if these rhinestones are too small and these are some of the rhinestones I've already chosen from the rhinestone case right here. And I think since I kind of matched them up all to the colors that I have, red, clear, gold, green, blue, the only one I think I'm going to take out that I don't have the stone is purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I think I might take purple out. All right. So the first thing I want to do is show you my finished vessel. It's not completely finished yet because I have to glue the base to the actual vessel. Sorry. All right. So let me bring this light a little closer. All right. So my vessel is here. Feel free to unmute yourselves if you need to. So this is my base and this is the top. And as you can see, inside, so to speak, I have an ink pen stuck down in here just because it has a hole in the center. And before I even glued it, I was saying I was going to uh, line up the hole in the base compared to the hole in the top. So as you can see, I'm taking this ink pen out. I have a hole here in the center and I have a hole here in my base. I just thought if I, once I get ready to glue this base to the uh, bowl, if I put the ink pen and then line those two holes up, it will be level. So what I did was I basically used this metallic spray and I sprayed the inside of my 
bowl gold. And so this is going to be a fruit bowl. And uh, this is the outside. I decided to leave the outside as the with the magazine papers. And so what I did so I could get gold magazine, gold magazine. And so I taped uh, around here with masking tape to cover this portion and then I spray painted this as well. So to make sure, to ensure that the fruit doesn't take off the gold, I, after it dried, I sprayed it with this crystal clear acrylic coat spray. All right, so that was just to seal everything and protect it. And what I'm going to do is actually add these uh, stones and rhinestones around the top edge and the bottom edge of my base and the top of my bowl. And so I already chose out about 10 colors um, so that I can mix and match them. All right. So we're probably just gonna start off one row, one row on the top and one row on the bottom. Please feel free to ask any questions if you have any questions. All right, so the first one I'm gonna, instead of just grabbing a stone, I'm gonna go ahead and put a few in order, red, gold, green then i think i'll do one blue on this side and then turquoise uh coral one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven green eight and got the light blue yes and nine red blue green all right i think that looks pretty good and so I want to see how this looks going in between with the rhinestones. So it's just like a setup. Each time I have to go around the actual circle, I'm gonna set this up the same way. And I think that's actually perfect because I have a rhinestone going in between each piece. And remember, you can use so many different things to decorate your vessels. I hope you all get a chance to finish these pieces so that you can possibly get them into the uh, slideshow. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, since I have this all in one row, I'm going to go ahead and match this again with another row so I'll be ready for the bottom side. Blue, and then I won't be having to look back on the piece and forget it. Green, so now I can do it easier and quicker since I've already done it before and I already have it set up. Turquoise, coral, green, light blue. And now all I have to do Just go through with my rhinestones and remember um, all this time I've been taking I've really just got I took time to have, let my um, hot glue go and get hot since I just plugged it up I don't want to plug it up prematurely and just have it on for no reason green so I see I have a few colors Turquoise is good right there. I think I'm gonna have to switch out one of those greens. Green is too much beside each other. 
turquoise, blue, and purple. All right. Actually, I think that all looks good. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm opening up my E6000. And don't forget that this is a pressurized glue, meaning that if you keep the top off, the glue is just going to keep oozing out. So you have to use some and then make sure to uh, close it because it will start to continue to leak out. So before I even add glue, I'm going to just place one of the stones on the side just to see how it looks. And it looks really good, the spacing. And so what I want to do is I'm going to take a little E6000, put it on the back of the stone. I'm closing it up. I have a little glue on the back. I'm getting my glue gun and I'm just going to put some glue on the surface of the piece where I want the uh, stone to lie. It's a good thing I had my apron on. I think I just touched over that. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the stone here and just hold it for a few seconds until it dries. And then I'm going to go with my next stone. So we're just going to kind of do one row. And I'm taking my toothpick. Since I'm doing a rhinestone, I only want a small amount. Sorry, I'm going to change my camera so you can see. All right. Taking my toothpick and some glue. E6000 and I'm adding rhinestone. I'm going to use the back of the my uh, toothpick to press that down as well. And for me, instead of spacing, I'm going to have everything touching. All right, I'm going to my next stone. We're just going to continue to do that until we get that whole first row on. Hot glue. Place the stone on. And you have to hold it for a couple of seconds and press it down, making sure it doesn't slide or move around. Sometimes I even blow a little bit just to make sure that that hot glue is drying. All right. Moving right along. Got a little E6000. Next rhinestone. Back of the toothpick. Press it down, make sure it's centered. Next stone. So once again, this is just what I came up with my for my design aesthetic. You are more than welcome to use so many different things such as glitter, uh, ribbon, more paper, it's all up to you. I'm just looking for you all to take risk. Be creative. Pressing it down. So since I've just put these, this little set on, I see that I can use less glue. So what I'm going to do now is just that, use less glue. Being that I'm using two glues, I don't have to use so much. And I'm just going ahead and adding E6000 just across so I can 
uh, get a little bit more done. All right. So I'm putting my next rhinestone down, pressing it with the back of the toothpick, making sure it's centered on that outer paper tube, hot glue. I'm not putting hot glue behind the rhinestones. I'm only putting hot glue behind the glass stones so that the hot glue can help me hold it, help to hold them down uh, instantly. So are you saying you can use another kind of glue or just hot glue? I'm using E6000, it's right here. I'm using E6000 along with the hot glue because the E6000 is going to hold it uh, permanently. You know, hot glue sometimes after it gets cool, the it don't uh, the stuff only anything that you glue on it really just breaks off. The hot glue gets cold and. Everything just kind of cracks off, really. So the reason why I'm holding this to the side is just to make sure everything is getting straight still. And I only have a little bit more to go as far as that first row. But as you can see, I'm definitely going to need another row to go around the... Uh, top portion of the outer edge and i thought using multiple colors would look good with all of the magazine colors that are in my piece as well so let's go ahead and get these last rhinestones and stones done only have eight more So I'm holding my glue upward so that it doesn't pressurize out so I can get more done. I need a little hot glue. And as soon as we finish this, I'll be able to just ask you all if you have any pieces to share, if you have any questions. Um, I hope you all have been making things in this class and plan on uh, putting them in the slideshow for All the Americans Month. The deadline is April 15th. Need some hot glue. What did you say the purpose of the hot glue was for? Say what, Miss Sharon? <laughs> what did you say the purpose of the hot glue was for? Okay. If I just, let me say it slower. If I just use the E6000 for right now, these stones are so heavy that they'll start sliding everywhere. The hot glue is used so I, it can just help to hold it instantaneously. But the E6000 is gonna help to hold them permanently. After the, e, after the hot glue gets cold, the stones might pop off or crack off anyway, but I'm using them so, like right now, if I'm, while I'm holding this up, if I did not use hot glue, they would be sliding off. I'm using hot glue so that I can show you all this during class and they don't slide, if that makes sense. I have four more to go and then stop that for today and I'll finish this on my own and I'll give you a chance to see how it looks. The E6000, the rhinestones are light enough that once I put the E6000 down on the rhinestones, they're not going to slide, but the stones are too heavy. So they'll start sliding immediately.
I'm just using the hot glue so that they will not slide anywhere while, while I'm showing you all what I'm doing. But I still have to press the stones there and make sure that they dry before I lift it up. I'm on my last two stones. And I think this is really going to turn out pretty cool. I actually didn't know what I was going to get, but I think I'm liking it. So it's all about if you, the artist, like what you're doing. If not, you can always uh, change your mind and create something else. All right. So, so far, I'm going to get my base again. I don't think I need to go around the base right now. I could do that portion on my own and show it to you in another class. Now I'm just leveling it out, putting my ink pen in there to match it up with the whole Okay, so far this is what we have. I'm going to finish that by adding the stones all the way around the piece. And on the bottom here, and what I'm going to do is when I finish this, the reason why I did not glue the 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 vessel to the base is because I need to handle it to actually get my rhinestones around uh, my beads and everything around it. So once I finish that I'm going to use E6000 to glue this base to the actual vessel. E6000 once it dries in 24 hours it'll be uh it'll be completely dry and solidified and actually sealed. So, that's basically all I had to share with you today as it pertains to my uh, vessel that I'm creating and to, just to give you an example of the design aesthetic that I plan on using. Are there any questions, suggestions? Um, Miss Sherry Hartnett, <coughs> were you interested in, uh, being, were you interested in, uh, sorry, doing the coloring book event for Old America's Month? I don't know about the coloring book. No, I'm not interested because I don't. I can't hear you. No, oh, I'm not interested in the coloring book. That's no problem. So everybody else, I have your names for the coloring book and we also made a schedule for you to pick up your coloring books oh you oh you have to pick up a coloring book and color it yes we're giving out we're distributing coloring books for free that jamal jones made you have to commit to at least coloring one page and during the event we're going to show our pages uh our coloring page is going to be may the 6th at 10 a.m that's on thursday so yeah. distributing the coloring books this week at the Darnell facility on Wednesday and Friday. Okay, yeah. I think I'll be interested. With what day would you like to come to the Darnell Center to pick it up? Wednesday from 12 to 1, Friday from 1 to 2. Wednesday. Wednesday, that's tomorrow. Auntie Sharon? Yes, Kimbo. I'm, okay, let's see. You coming tomorrow? Yes, I'll do my best. I'll be there tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow I'm writing you on my list from 12 to 1 to come and pick up a coloring book. Okay. And just everybody, please come in the front where the front circle is, where the double doors are. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, I hope you all like my vessel and I want to see what things what beautiful pieces of what you created just be creative and um 
you know, don't forget you can you can make a lid, you can make handles, all sorts of things. That's pretty. So we gotta go ahead, ma'am. Ask one more question. What's the gold trim around the base, the upper part of the base? That looks it's like a gold. Uh huh. What's that? I think I missed players last week, maybe. Right here? Uh -huh. well, this is gold paint, spray paint. Oh, okay. And what I did, I was telling everybody, I spray painted the inside. Mm -hmm. And I put tape on the portion that I did not want to get spray painted. And then I spray painted that because I wanted it to be gold, magazine paper, gold, then magazine paper. Oh, okay. That's great. That's and to seal the gold spray paint in, I use this crystal clear acrylic coat. It's like a sealer or a protector. Dries in minutes. Okay. All right. Anything else? Anybody else? Thank you for your uh, compliments. Does anybody need the website? The email, sorry, does anybody need the email address that you're supposed to send your photographs to for your art? Anybody want me to type that in the, in the chat? Okay. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> then type it in the chat? I think we have it though. We have it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to quickly do that right quick and then we're going to be signing out. So to everyone send your beautiful photos from tonight to everyone beautiful to I don't know what that means artist show uh -huh. 2021 at gmail.com oh, So it's hardest, H-E-A-R-T-I-S-T, capital S, H-O-W, 2021 at gmail.com. Please send your photos of your artwork to that email address so that you um, can be, your beautiful works can be presented in the upcoming art slideshow. And Put it back. I can't see. It's gone. What? Put it back, it's gone. <laughs> okay. Here it is again. Thanks. Just click on chat, it'll come back up. Oh. Yeah, just click on the chat. Okay. Right. So, 2021. And I did, but it's. Oh. There it is again. So, uh, Yes, please send all your photos and don't forget if you want to have someone take a photo of yourself with uh, maybe looking like, you know, if it's like the chef, Chef Ramsey, different chefs take a sort of like a chef photo, yes. like with their apron on doing like this or with a knife in their hand or biting an apple, something like that. Maybe you want to take a creative photo of yourself to be presented the picture will show before your artwork if you'd like you can take it with uh paint brushes in your hand uh in front of an easel i don't know be very creative and thank you so much for joining making something out of nothing the class all about recycling up cycling crafts my name is kimberly wright have a wonderful and blessed day thank you thank you Thanks, Kim, for the uh, high gloss medium. Oh, no problem. Thank you. I love you all. Have a great day. We love you, you too. Love you.